Hey everyone, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three strong buy stocks. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here and happy Friday. Today, we're taking a look at three stocks that come in with a strong buy consensus from Wall Street and some attractive upside potential. We're gonna take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, and exactly what those Wall Street analysts are predicting for the stock's future. We came across these companies today using the TipRanks stock screener. Found right at the top of research tools, I set my filters to be a medium to large market cap, upside potential over 10%, and a strong buy consensus from not only all analysts, but the best analysts as well. Then I narrowed in my stock price to be $10 to $100, which I found under the more filter section, and that gave us our list down below. And just before we get into today's three companies, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel. You can download the Tip Ranks mobile app using the links in the description down below so you can access all of your favorite investment research tools on the go. Now let's get right into our three strong buy stocks. First on our list is a company that we spoke about a few months ago. Now it has seen recent growth, but analysts still think there's room for more. That is Boston Scientific. They trade under the ticker BSX, currently priced at $77 per share. Year to date, the stock has climbed over 33% and in the last three months has gained over 13%. Boston Scientific develops medical devices and products that are used in a variety of medical procedures worldwide. Their products are used across a variety of medical specialties and are used to treat conditions in the cardiovascular, respiratory, neurological, digestive, urological, and pelvic systems with a focus on non-invasive treatments. With 48,000 employees around the world, they have over 15,000 products that are used in treatments with 37 million patients each year. They'll be sharing their second quarter earnings report in just a few days on July 24th. This does follow an earnings beat for their first quarter back near the end of April. For their Q2, analysts are anticipating earnings per share of 58 cents, which would be a 5 cent increase over last year. This follows their Q1 where they reported earnings per share of 56 cents, which beat estimates by 5 cents. For their revenue, it came in at $3.856 billion, and that did beat estimates and also grow nearly 14%. Just a few days ago, we did have a five-star analyst from Truist Financial who increased their price target on the stock. As part of a broader research note on the med tech sector, they said that across the market cap, there continues to be crowding in the strongest growth stories with a widening performance and valuation gap between the haves and haves nots. But while this could create some profit taking, dips in these names will get bought if fundamentals are moving in the right direction. For Boston Scientific, its current earnings multiple premium gap is justifiable given there's enough near and intermediate term estimated upside and well above average revenue growth and margin expansion prospects compared to peers. With 22 current analyst ratings, the Boston Scientific stock does come in as a strong buy with 21 buys and one hold. And the average price target comes in just shy of $85 for an upside potential of about 10% from current prices. Looking at our most recent ratings down below, we can see most analysts have been bumping up their price target by at least a few dollars. On the low end, we do have our one hold rating here at 73, which would be a downside of over 5.5%, while our high end price target comes in at $92 for an upside of 19%. Our second strong buy stock is Tech Resources. They trade under the ticker TECK, currently priced at about $46 per share. Year to date, they've climbed about 10%. In the last three months, they have been fairly flat here, up just 1%. Tech Resources is a Canadian resource company. With interest in mining and processing operations in Canada, the US, Chile, and Peru, the company explores, develops, smelts, refines, and researches metals and minerals for global development and the energy transition. They offer steel-making coal, copper, and zinc products to just name a few. Tech will also be sharing their Q2 earnings reports on July 24th. This does, however, follow an earnings miss back in April. Analysts will be anticipating Q2 earnings per share of 58 cents, which would be a decline from the prior year. And this follows earnings per share of 55 cents in Q1, which came in at 7 cents short. The company reported $3.98 billion for their first quarter, which did grow year over year, but fell slightly short of estimates. The company said that their adjusted EBITDA of $1.7 billion was driven by strong prices for steelmaking coal and copper, which was partially offset by lower zinc prices and lower steelmaking coal sales volume. 
Just this past week, we've had several analysts increasing price targets ahead of this Q2 earnings report, including one five-star analyst at TD Cohen who just initiated coverage with a buy. They referenced how the company recently underwent significant changes, including the sale of their Elk Valley Resources coal business and the completion of their QB2 copper mine. With this, they said the company is significantly different with the completion of the coal separation and construction of the mine, and that tech will be a cleaner investment story going forward as a simplified copper investment vehicle. With 16 current analyst ratings, the tech resources stock comes in as a strong buy with 14 buys and two holds. The average price target of $58 would imply an upside potential of over 26%. Looking at our recent ratings down below, you'll see several of those analysts bumping up price targets. Our low end is a hold here, uh, coming in at $54, which would still be an upside of over 18%. While our high-end price target comes from RBC Capital at over $67 for an upside of 45%. And third on our list today is another company we discussed a few months ago, but analysts do see some more upside. That is Trade Desk. Trading under the ticker TTD, they're currently priced at $96.54. Year-to-date, they've climbed over 34% and in the last three months have gained over 24%. Trade Desk provides a technology platform for media buyers in the United States, Europe, and Asia. Their self-serve platform allows for data-driven media buying. The platform helps advertisers reach audiences across the customer journey from awareness to engagement to conversion. Through their cloud-based platform, buyers can create, manage, and optimize more expressive data-driven digital advertising campaigns across ad formats, including display, video, and audio. Their Q2 earnings report is a couple of weeks away on August 8th and does follow an earnings beat for their Q1 back in May. For their second quarter, analysts are anticipating earnings per share at $0.36, cents, which would be an $0.08 cent increase year over year. This follows their Q1 earnings per share of $0.26, cents, which beat expectations by $0.04 cents per share. For their Q1, they also reported revenue of $491 million, which grew 28% year over year. Just a few days ago, we had a five-star analyst from Oppenheimer who increased their price target on the stock. The analyst said that Trade Desk remains one of the cleanest secular growth stories in internet and media, that leading agencies continue to increase their 2024 ad spending estimates, suggesting revenue upside for Trade Desk. They believe that the company can sustain 17% revenue growth annually through 2030. Trade Desk currently has 18 analyst ratings, coming in as a strong buy with 17 buys and one hold. The average price target comes in just shy of $107, which would imply an upside of nearly 11%. Looking at those recent ratings down below, here we have Oppenheimer with their increased price target to $120, which is our most recent high-end price target. It would be an upside of about 24%, while our low-end price target is a bit further back here from BTIG at $98, which would be fairly flat from current prices. So that is a quick look at three strong buy stocks. Let me know your thoughts on these companies in the comments down below. You guys know I always love hearing from you. Please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, so please make sure you're always doing your own research and due diligence. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you back here next time.